Good afternoon, everybody. This is Madison Chop 2397. Now, um, get me this if I'm wrong. Um, it has been since February, since WAF has been signed off on the Massachusetts Rail Stations. The Massachusetts Rail Station. Um, but the, but they're still, um, you know, still on. It has to be on HD2, um, format, which, uh, if you go, if you have, if, you, if, if, for example, if you have, like, an HD2, um, if you have a high quality car that, uh, has, like, an HD2 format, you could try to set it up or use the radio.com app for, like, um, manual standing. But there's no WAF on the radio. It's only HD2 format and radio.com. But that's not what I'm talking about. Today I'm talking about Massachusetts radio stations. All right. Every one of them, in, either in Boston, um, Springfield, um, Brewster, Brewster, whatever, it's a joke. Okay. I don't know why it's a joke. And also, I'm going to do, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a preview for my, uh, my, uh, ability to even maybe drive a vehicle. But anyway, um, um, a lot of stuff had happened with, you know, with, um, rail stations trying to be in competition, um, I still don't get to this day that Massachusetts has, like, does not put out new music that I like to listen to anymore. I mean, all they fucking do is, I mean, this, this, this is where the video now gets interesting, okay? The video itself, okay? And correct me if I'm wrong, Kiss 108, Hot 96.9, um, Jim and Alpha 5, those stations, they play stupid music. Why? Because there's a lot of um, applications on phones and um, MP3 players such as TikTok and all that shit. Snapchat. Um, these people think they're like superhuman. Superhumans or um, freaks. Super freaks. That they can um, have something from a, pa from a past of time. Like in the late seventies until to until the early two thousands up until two thousand three, they have to make it impossible because this is, I mean, first of all, Savage, by making the the, the dance by making the stallion. Why were you people doing that on TikTok? You know it's gonna get a billion. You, you wonder why you're gonna get like a, a like a trillion views on YouTube and TikTok alone because. Some people are going to strongly recall the video that you did inappropriate and disgusting. Otherwise, um, stupid. Now, um, yeah, all, and then all the other TikTok dances, like I said with the Savage dance, stupid, inappropriate, and disgusting. I'm not to offend the human on behalf. It's disgusting. Okay? You take an innocent life from these people who are born... <sighs> Everyone does it. You just take an innocent life like Maya Cyrus did when she cut off her hair and she fucking plays a little hip-hop for a little while with only two albums. I mean, you got the, I mean, it all started with the twerking with girl, with young girls and, um, it's, it's like, it's like a transfer of a copycat, okay? You got these strippers, like, doing it manually. These younger girls get it from them. The, I, I'm not saying that they, they didn't get the twerking and the fucking, um, twerk like Molly Cyrus thing from the internet, they got it for some type of, um, cult, I should say, like these, um, strippers, and these whorehouse, people in whorehouses, 
If you're a parent at home, I want you to watch this very important. If you're a parent at home and have a teenager and that's already been grown or a teenager that's going to do the opposite or the same, listen carefully. You're going to endanger your, not only going to endanger your children, you're going to endanger yourself. Being the selfish son, the selfish son of a bitch that you are. Next, um, um, I was just, I'm um, next. Oh, oh yeah, next. Um, hip hop music. These teenagers, back in the day, they used to listen to like um Eminem, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Biggie, um, Easy E, um, stuff like that. And 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, Drake, all the good artists from... You got these rappers, okay? And correct me if I'm wrong in these rappers. 6 9 uh, Travis Scott, uh, 21 Savage, The Baby, Lil Baby. This is also something I'm pissed off about. DJ Khaled is alright. Okay, but come on. You have to take younger talent. Talent. I mean, an XX XX Tension died, which he was a wife or um an African American rapper. And Mac Miller, he was like a he was like the next um soul that went to heaven, like Biggie Smalls. He honestly um released um five um post up for. Albums after he pa shortly after he passed away, I think Mac Miller was like a nice person, but like I said, all the other rappers you hear now, which are people who are gonna get nominated for the Grammys, when you listen and watch to illegal websites and watching on World Star Hip Hop like Machine Gun Kelly and Black Bear, ugh, talk about gangster rap and emo rap. And I keep seeing them wherever I go when I walk, when I go for my walks. Okay. I'm here blasting Eminem. Oh my, no, get me this some long. I'm blasting Biggie Smalls, some random um, condescending dick fuck comes up to me and says, Hey buddy, um, can you like tone it, tone down the language that they're not saying for me to tone it down. They say... That Biggie Smalls has a violent um, music critics because he does violence and wanted to kill himself. That's suicidal rap. That is stupid. That's why he got famous. He, he, he Basically, that's why he got famous because he wanted to do his career with hip-hop instead of dealing crack on the streets of Brooklyn. And I did the same with Eminem. He's homophobic. And I did the same with Tupac. He does, even though he's a poet. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. Um. Seven of my fucking coffee here. I mean tea. <laughs> I mean anyway. Why would people complain about music? Same thing. Well. They're doing it now because heavy metal and rock music is dead. I'll do a separate video when I have a chance. And finally, um, no, um, I mean, next, um, um, these people wanted to get iPhones at a young age. First of all, you have to learn what a phone is and how you could operate it. When I start using the phone, I use an Android. An Android or flip phone. But for starters, for me, I use a flip phone, graduated to Android. I'm still not, I'm still, um, concerned on how I use my iPhone. Because the first time, I, I'm t I'll tell you a little story. The first time my little brother got an iPhone, okay, he, for some reason, he had a passcode so that no one can go on his phone and hack his shit. What happened was, he put in the wrong passcode, and he was locked out. Because, after iPhone, after Apple decided, after the iPhone 6, 
gradually for iPhone 7 and over, when you do multiple incorrect um, logins as your passcode, you log out automatically. You hit the blackout zone. But, and then finally, um, girls. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about fucking girls right now. I mean, girls, I mean, finally, well, no, next, um, teenage girls, okay. Next summer, if I see a group of girls, like, dressing, like, inappropriately, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even gonna go to the location where I was seeing people when they, where they're present. They're just wearing, um, shit. I mean, why would you wear, like, a nice, decent summer clothes? Like a womper or sundress or whatever. These people have to wear leggings and, like, a top where, um, the whole part of the, uh, pants is, like, going up to your bra area or breast down to your ankles. That's disgusting, man. I mean, seriously. Next, um, I have a couple of people, um, including my brother Joey, complain about country music. And as you can tell... I can show you real quickly before my f phone hits limited capacity. Um, where is that album I have? Um, yeah. Um, look at this. Does it seem something I like to listen to besides Martin McBride, Alan Jackson, and Tim McGraw? The problem is that people complain about country music because they don't tell the difference between listening to classics and the new stuff. And surprisingly, I listen to all the country music genres from the 1940s to the 2000s. Some songs from 2010s and 2020 is okay, but the old stuff is better from the 1940s to the 2000s. Oh, yeah, I meant to show you one more thing. Um, Martina McBride. This was the first time I heard a country music artist was singing that awesome collection of songs. And seeing why I like Martina McBride. As well as Lay Into Bellum, Jason Aldean, and um, one of the artists, Casey Musgraves, and... Um, uh, much others, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do another video, so um, I'll see you in the next part.